Okay, let's ask a few questions about this um, particular uh, phase diagram. Uh, as you can see, the lines aren't very straight, and the thing isn't drawn to scale, but hopefully you guys can uh, deal with that. Um, it's good enough for me, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of these points um, in this thing. So um, what, what phases are present at point D up here? What phases are going to be present? Solid. Solid and a liquid. Why both of them? Because it's at, on the what? Solid. On the line, right? It's on the solid equal liquid equilibrium line. Okay, so at point D, we'll have both Solid and liquid. Um, what is the name of point B? Everybody. That's not everybody, but I'll take it. Triple point. What does that mean, the triple point? So everybody. Solid, liquid, and gas are all what? Present at that time, okay? Or at that temperature and pressure, I guess I should say. Um, what would happen to the sample um, if we were at D, point D, and we kept the temperature the same, but we decreased the pressure? What would happen? Solid. So only a solid would be present. Is that okay with everybody? Right? So what happens? At this point, right? Let's just draw a straight line. We would keep the temperature, right? But decrease the pressure. So the pressure's here, right? So when we decrease the pressure, only a solid would be present. Okay? So at point D and decrease pressure. Only a salt. And this is temperature staying the same, right? That's to an extent, right? To an extent, yeah. And then if we got down here, what would happen? Yeah. Turn to, it would do what? What is that process called, going from a solid to a gas? Sublimation. It would sublime from a solid to a gas, right? So down here is the gas, and up here is the liquid. Okay, so to a solid and then all the way to a gas. Um, let's see what other questions. Uh, well, how would you, if you were at point, uh, let's see, if you were at point F here, how would you make the sample a solid without decreasing the pressure? You would lower the temperature, right? You would lower the temperature. So you would go that way, right? So you would lower the temperature this way, but the pressure would stay the same, okay? So, um, and I guess, what's, what point shows the normal boiling point of this substance? Help me out. Point C, why do you say point C? There's something even more specific about it. It's at 760 millimeters of mercury, which is what? One atm, right? Which is where you find the normal boiling point, right? So this is the normal boiling point. And 
point E, what is that called? The critical point, right? Thank you, everybody. Okay, and what's above the critical point? The supercritical fluid. So, and then one more question about this substance. Is it more dense in the solid or the liquid phase? Liquid. The liquid, right? And why is that? So since you've got a negative slope here, and you're lying between the liquid and solid, <coughs> so negative slope, of the liquid <coughs> solid or solid liquid line means that the liquid is more dense. Okay? Yeah. If you had a vertical line, would it just be the same? Uh yeah, it would be the same. We're just we won't I won't give you any weird problems like that, okay? We'll just, you'll see, like, which you'll okay, one or the other. Okay, any questions on this? Any questions? Okay, cool.